live from Las Vegas, it's theCUBE, covering AWS reInvent 2018. Brought to you by Amazon Web Services, Intel, and their ecosystem partners. And hey, welcome back to Las Vegas. We are at AWS reInvent along with Rebecca Knight. I'm John Walls. A lot of energy still behind us it's here. A, you notice it's that? It's amazing. This is day three, people. Wow. All right, again, and again, I know a lot of you watching, you, know, you come to shows, uh, you attend these things, and you realize that day three sometimes can be a little bit uh, slower. Yeah. yeah. Not so here. This, <laughs> this place is still very much Sin alive. City. Yeah. Easy, <laughs> easy now. <laughs> We're joined by a couple of gentlemen right now to join us here, uh, Pratap Dindi, who's the general manager of growth initiatives and commercialization at AppDynamics. Pratap, thank you for being with oh, us. Oh, great to be here. And Emmanuel Afian, who is the vice president of enterprise at Wyndham Hotels. Emmanuel, yeah, you know, usually the conversation yeah. here is, hey, how you doing? Where are you staying? We don't have to ask you that. <laughs> <laughs> right, so you're, you're right. good to go, Wyndham. So let's, first off, let's just talk about, i like to get your ideas. We've talked about the show. I mean, how do you feel? I mean, you're, you're probably around here quite a bit uh, for top at various shows and what have you. Yeah. Your thoughts about what you're seeing here at AWS reInvent 2018? Yeah. Uh, for starters, I think you guys need at least 10 more cubes. Because I've been watching the activity <laughs> here. It's just, you know, crazy, right. right? A lot of high energy here, a lot of uh, cloud, cloud stories, uh, multi-cloud stories. We really feed on that. Uh, a lot of innovation that's being announced here. All right, and Emmanuel, we hear this a lot, right? Customers who are making that big digital jump, you're making that leap, and in some cases it's a bit of a leap of faith, right, yeah. in some yeah. respects. Um, let's go back to, to before that, the genesis of your decision. What was the impetus, and, and what were your reservations, and what are your reservations still for that matter going forward? Sure, so I, I actually joined Wyndham about three years ago when we were trying to undertake this uh, digital journey. And uh, what we realized was that uh, there was a lot of competition with our online travel agents, um, and we weren't really bringing in customers the way we, we thought we could. And, and so we realized that our digital platforms were antiquated. Um, they weren't uh, uh, speaking to our customers in terms of increased loyalty and such. And so we, we knew that we had to make a change. We knew that we, in today's economy, in order to attract customers, we had to be um, we had to be more digital friendly. We had to give, provide a seamless experience. And we had to make sure that um, on all of our platforms, that customers were, easy, were able to check in and check out um, on their mobile platforms very easily. You mentioned, you mentioned online travel agents, uh, but just talk a little bit about this era of hotel, hoteling. Uh, it, it, has it become so much more competitive, particularly with the rise of Airbnb and other VRBOs? It has, it really has. So the Expedias, the Airbnbs of the world, They've really embraced technology, uh, more so than maybe the traditional uh, hospitality companies have. And so that's why you'll see companies like ourselves starting to make investments in technology, making investments in the digital transformation. So you have your aha moment. We, we need to move forward. We need a digital transformation. So you begin to look for partners. So, so what, were, what were you looking for? Uh, a couple things. So, so we, we were looking at transformation on three levels for digital um, uh, infrastructure management and data. And so, in terms of a partner, what we wanted to do was we were looking for someone to help us ease that journey. We knew, we knew the journey was going to be rough, right? especially from where we started. So we were looking for a partner uh, like AWS that was going to help us sort of make that uh, scale into uh, modern day technology very quickly. All right, so when you talk about a digital journey, I just want to back up a little bit. Um, I mean, what exactly does that encompass in your case? I mean. I'm thinking you've got your website, you've got your reservation, yeah. you know, you've got all these microservices running on your site. You know, it's all good, it's yep. all fine. What weren't you doing, specifically germane to your business, that like AppDynamics is now getting you back up to speed and getting you into the 21st century, if you will? Sure, so let me, let me give you some context then. Yeah. So when we talk about customers, we talk about two sets of customers. There are guests who walk in through the door, and then there are franchisees. So we're a franchise-based company. So let's speak to our guest. In regards to our guest, um, our check-in, check-out process wasn't as seamless as it could be, right? It wasn't, um, it wasn't very mobile friendly at the time. So those were the things that we were looking to change. And in regards to our franchisees, um, their, their ultimate goal is they want to be able to check revenue, they want to be able to check rates, change rates, they want to be able to see what their competitors are doing, and they want to be able to do that very seamlessly and on a mobile platform. And we didn't have those capabilities available to them at the time. Okay. Yeah. 
if, if I may say so. Please. Uh, it's interesting when we see leaders like Emmanuel uh, talk about digital transformation, they're not talking about IT transformation, they're not talking about you know, servers going away, infrastructure, it's really refreshing to see customers talk about business model changes. So what I see, you know, Scott and Emmanuel, the team has done a great job about focusing on what, what is it about the business model that needs to change and really getting that end user experience journey right from, you know, like you asked, right from the, the time they log in to requesting a service or, or changing some reservations, all of that is what they're capturing. And it's, it's really complex. And, and I know he's quite humble to say, oh, you know, we've done it at scale, but this is hard stuff. You know, to make it simple for the end user passes the complexity down to the systems, and that's what this, uh, the team at Wyndham was able to do. And we're lucky, AppDynamics, to be part of that journey that monitors the end-to-end -end performance of the end user journeys, and then importantly correlate that to business outcomes. You know, do we actually have more partners coming in? Uh, is the full journey faster now, now that we've gone to AWS? Is it really impacting the business or is it just the IT spend? So that's really a, a good call out to see that digital transformation is really a business model change, not just the IT change. So the business model, so, so let's so walk us through exactly what you did for, for this transformation and this, and this cloud migration too. Sure, so the first step was realizing that we had to start to migrate some workloads to the cloud. And the reason why we, we knew we had to go to the cloud was, like I said before, we wanted to get out of the business of managing infrastructure, right? So we said, we're, we're going to take our workloads to the cloud. Well, going to the cloud, um, especially with the type of workloads we were looking at, is often a very complicated and complex adventure. And that's where AppDynamics came in for us, right? We knew we needed something that was going to allow us to see end to end where we started from, and when we migrate to the cloud, have that same level of visibility to ensure that we didn't do two things, right? We're protecting the brand, and we want to make sure we protect our customer experience. Those are the two things that were most important to us as a part of this journey. And if from a security standpoint, huge concern, right? I mean, it has been for a while, but when you go public and um, what exposure there might be, how have you two kind of dealt with that? Because obviously you're dealing with financial information, with customer information. There's a lot of proprietary stuff that you're getting from your folks that you have to protect, and obviously internally as well. So talk about the security component. Yeah, and how happy to go first. Yeah, yeah. You know, it used to be just about five, six years ago, application was seen as a separate silo or a separate layer, and security was different and experience was different. What we're now seeing is every business function is getting really melded into that one construct of end user experience. So security becomes not an afterthought, but actually is part of the design construct, sure. right? And what we've seen with uh, customers like Wyndham is they have gotten so much better at measuring right from the click stream of from reservation to fulfillment uh, and look, looking for anomalies in that data, mm -hmm. right? So security correlation to the application data is out of the box now. So th that's the pre-design for architecture groups like um, uh, Emmanuel's. Sure. Yeah, so I, <laughs> I think you said it very well. I'll um, say what he said. <laughs> <laughs> well, when you're thinking about this, this, this migration, which began in, when, when did this, this journey begin? A couple years ago. A couple of years ago. Yep. So, so now, was there resistance to it? I mean, as you said, you were really at this tipping point where you yep. said, we got to do something different yep. here. We've got a lot of different comp competition from, coming at us from different angles. Yeah, so there, there was internal, um, there was some level of internal concern, I would say, uh, but we, we worked through that, right? It's really about, um, at the end of the day, we, we migrated 8,400 hotels across 18 brands onto this new platform, right? So it, it's, not, it's not insignificant, so you can imagine, right, the amount of, um, um, internal conversations that needed to happen to get something like that accomplished. All right, and what haven't you done? I, I mean, obviously this is a multi-year process, right? Yep. You can't snap your fingers and it's going to be done. Yep. Uh, and so I, I assume you're in a, still a nascent stage of this and that you have much more work to do. So now, yep, now we're focused on data, right? Now we're focused on grabbing insights from the data that we've put into the cloud. Uh, we've migrated most of what we're looking to migrate over uh, you know, over the last uh, two years, if you will. And now we're looking at how do we get more insights from the data that's available to us. All right, and is that something you, you, that you come yeah. into play with? Uh, well? and, and Amazon, uh, and AWS themselves, right? right? So I think over the years, what I've seen, you know, I've been an engineer in this career and now on the business side, uh, the ecosystem around application stack has gotten so transparent, right? So uh, customers like uh, Wyndham are able to purchase 
best of breed solutions like AppDynamics on AWS Marketplace, right. the click of a button, right? There's no long cycles of web value. So you quickly get to the value, and then once the journey starts, it's really all about the customer, right? You know, they're generating trillions of data set every day uh, across their business. Mm -hmm. uh, our goal is to see, you know, how can we bubble up the impact of that investment to their line of business? And how quickly are the customers getting on board, making their decisions, you know, versus having to worry about you know, the, uh, the servers and the infrastructure. Uh, that's what we're seeing in, in a big, big way. Well, and as you said before, this is a business model change. It wasn't just a technology change. So, so how have your customers seen this? I mean, how are they reacting? What are your franchisees seeing? How has the business changed? So from our perspective, business, the, the customers love it. Um, and we, we can measure that in terms of our booking. So we're up 75% um, in terms of mobile bookings as a result of some of these changes that we've made. Um, our customers have given us feedback that the experience is much more seamless, right? Our franchisees have given us feedback that, you know what, it's easier to use our services, right? So. Yeah. All I want is the best rate. Just <laughs> give me the best <laughs> rate, Emmanuel, all right? And I'm a happy camper. Yeah, hey. you know, and the statistic that he shared is phenomenal, right? You know, being able to see 75% jump that's right. in yeah. mobile booking. That's, that's extraordinary. You know, that's uh, real yeah. ROI. Yeah, yeah. yeah. and, 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 and there, there are others too, like you know, Scott, their CIO, recently wrote uh, in a blog about uh, how and why uh, the CIOs are sleeping better, right? They're actually <laughs> getting uh, sleep back. Yeah. And, and I think that's really the, the result of the transformation where you know, systems uh, you know, like AppDynamics, systems like you know, applications that wrote, uh, they've become a lot more seamless now. And being able to show, when I invest a dollar into an application, right. how is that yielding to line of business yes, real time? is uh, what they have as power now. The boss is happy. Yeah. Yes, that's, well, that's all that matters. They're sleeping well, we're all sleeping <laughs> well. Right, I know right. how that goes. <laughs> Gentlemen, thanks for sharing the story. Thank, Thank you. you. Appreciate Thank you the time us. here. I appreciate, appreciate it. it. You yeah. bet. Back with more here from AWS reInvent. You're watching this live from Las Vegas, and we're on theCUBE.